How's it going everyone? In fact, the PlayStation Store has had their Wave 2 of deals go live for the Spring Sale. Now, actually looking at the PlayStation Store's website, it looks like they are sorting the deals by the ones that were most recently added. So I can actually uh, just scroll through and it looks like I can look at all of the deals. I do have it filtered based on full games, game bundles, and premium editions, so like superfluous DLC content. That's not included, but let's talk about it. First of all, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Wow, how, how many months has it been since this game has come out? A little over two months, right? Yeah, it came out at the end of January. 50% off for $34.99. Aye, aye, aye. Warner Brothers may be taking one of your most talented studios of all time and then making them conform into the live service model wasn't the best idea. Now there's rumblings going around that season 5 may be the final season for the game, that the seasonal updates haven't even been that great. Um, obviously, like Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is an okay game if you're spending like $5 for it. That is not hyperbole, that is about what the game is worth. $35 is still way too much. Always online nonsense actually did F me over while playing this game as I was in a boss fight. Uh, I literally got disconnected from the game multiple times and I had to restart the entire level, not just the boss fight, the entire level. And uh, yeah, stuff like that really don't wanna deal with. And obviously some recent games doing some nonsense like that as well, and uh, they don't need to be, but Suicide Squad Killer Justice League, kind of wild to see it being down to $35 already, but don't buy it yet. Um, there is some fun to be had with it, but I'm talking about like Agents of Mayhem tier fun, where you're spending $5 or less on the game. That's legitimately what the game is worth. And that's when I would buy it. But yeah, let's not get on a gigantic rant about that game. But uh, yeah, definitely not worth $35. Red Dead Redemption 2 Ultimate Edition, $30 on that. The Ultimate Edition content is kind of memes. It's not anything to write home about. But um, yeah, Red Dead 2 is an all-time great game. And uh, hopefully we do get a PS5 upgrade here in the near future. WWE 2K24 is 15% off, $51 for the base game, $59.49 for the cross-gen edition. This came out just a month ago, so it's not a sizable discount. Timing works out well. WrestleMania just wrapped up, and uh, yeah, that was a great show. Like, as far as WrestleManias of all time goes, that might be one of my favorite shows ever, at least Night 2. Night 1 was okay, but Night 2 I thought was legitimately like a tremendous show. So, uh, yeah, good for them, and you know what? After the nonsense that was 2K20, it seems like they have made quite the bounce back uh, for the 2K series as a whole, so... Yeah. You know, nice to see that uh, I still don't like my sports games yearly. I think if you are into any specific sports games, the best route to go is buy them every couple of years. But nevertheless, that is discounted slightly. GTA 5 discounted as well. Uh, obviously, they're trying to get you with those shark cards as well. But the base game is $19.79 for PS4 and PS5. That is the cross-gen release. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, 58% off for $29.39. That is the cross-gen release, which I believe for a little while, the PS5 version was a little bit more expensive. But uh, yeah, $29.39 for that is great. It is available on PlayStation Plus Extra, but Ghost of Tsushima is a phenomenal game. I know a lot of people are excited for the PC release on May 16th. I will definitely be playing the game again, but uh, the game is fantastic. Jin, as much flack as some people decided to give him when the game initially came out, in my opinion, one of the most compelling characters from a PlayStation franchise literally ever. Jin may be my favorite PlayStation main character of all time, and that's a crazy statement just because, you know, you're talking about the Kratoses and the Joels of the world. And I think Jin stands head and shoulders among the absolute elite. So, uh, yeah, the game itself is great as well. Narratively, uh, gameplay-wise, just such a fantastic game. Easy recommendation there. God of War Ragnarok, $29.99 for the PS4 version. PS5, PS4 cross-gen release. Still holding up in price at $39.89. I mean, God of War Ragnarok is fantastic. Where there are some things I wasn't crazy about in the game, yeah. But overall, the game is still tremendous. And uh, it'll be interesting to see where they go with the franchise from here. I believe they are going to do another God of War game. I believe Kratos is going to be at the helm of that story. And I think it would be promotional malpractice uh, not to have Kratos uh, as the main character. Kratos is your mascot. As much as they try to get Atreus uh, up there and over with the audience, I just don't think it would be smart to drop a AAA big budget game uh, for Atreus. I'm sorry. I just don't think it would be uh, worth it. I think people still gravitate towards Kratos as a character. and People want God of War to be centered around Kratos. That's just the end of it. And uh, I think that's what they're ultimately going to do. But God of War Ragnarok, $39.89. Great price on that. Cyberpunk 2077, 40% off for $29.99. So Cyberpunk 2077 is obviously a great game now after Cyberpunk uh, 2.0, Phantom Liberty, all that good stuff came out. The thing is, 
At this point, you've waited, what, damn near three and a half years for Cyberpunk 2077 after the initial release? Yeah, the game's gotten a lot better, but the price point's still a little bit high. What I would recommend you to do is wait until the 2077 Ultimate Edition sees a significant discount, and I think you're going to see that sooner rather than later, probably ideally in the fall. Come Black Friday, I think that's going to be one of those deals that's readily available that people are going to be like, whoa, now is the time to play Cyberpunk 2077, and at that point, four years until uh, since the release of the original game, you're going to get fan Liberty, the base game that's much better, and hopefully that Ultimate Edition will be at around this price point of $30, because really, if you're picking up 2077, you should be looking at getting Phantom Liberty as well to round out the experience, but um, yeah, the game now is great, it's just a three and a half year old game, still $30, keep that in mind, and I say that while also recommending Red Dead 2 all the time, but uh, guess what, Cyberpunk is gonna get cheaper, and I feel pretty confident in saying that, I don't feel that confident in saying that about a Rockstar release, Street Fighter 6, $39.59, in my opinion, that game should have been in the mix for Game of the Year, and I'm not even a big fighting game fan, but I thought they did a tremendous job with that game as uh, a fighting game, and as a casual fighting game player. The Last of Us Part 1 Digital Deluxe Edition, 38% off for $49.59. Look, I think Last of Us 1 is one of the greatest video games ever released, but this is so, so expensive. Like, if you can find Last of Us 1 for $20, that should be the price point you pay, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. But $50 even for this Digital Deluxe Edition is wild. Batman Arkham Collection, $6. Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight, obviously a tremendous deal there. Obviously, go check that out. Final Fantasy VII Remake, Intergrade, $15.19. For whatever reason, if you haven't played FF7 Remake, definitely go play that that does include the Yuffie expansion as well and then go play FF7 Rebirth because that game is tremendous Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Game of the Year Edition 50% off for $29.99 that game has just held up in price forever it's a FromSoft title so that is the world we live in where FromSoft games just hold up in price for years and years but Sekiro is great it's just a five-year-old game still going for 30 bucks is wild and uh you know Dark Souls 3 still goes for 30 bucks and that's an eight-year-old game so from software gonna from software their games are gonna hold up in value. Remnant 2 base game is 30, Ultimate Edition is 42. The DLC for Remnant 2 is still rolling out. I believe the first DLC came out, but we're still waiting on two more. Uh, great game, but um, yeah, still kind of pricey for that. But Remnant 2 did just come out back in July of last year, so that's not too crazy. Disney Dreamlight Valley, $30. Need for Speed Heat, $3. That's a great deal. Last of Us Remastered is $9.99. Look, if you wanna play Last of Us 1, that is probably the route I would go. The remake is cool, but it's not like it is a complete reinvention of Last of Us. Last of Us 1 already looked great from the original game. The remastered still looks great, and I would say for 10 bucks, that's not a bad deal. Uh, Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim Anniversary, $16.49 on that. Guilty Gear Strive is $20. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, $22. Robocop Rogue City, 40% off on that for $36. DMC5 Special Edition is $16. Bloodborne, $9.99, one of the From Software games that actually gets a little cheaper. Castle Crash is remastered on sale. A ton of other deals are available. I believe I'm retreading some of the older deals now, and some of them are getting mixed. But yeah, a lot of new deals are cycling in. Um, if you want a complete breakdown of some of the newer deals, PSN deals, or PS deals rather, they have the more recent deals added uh, all showcased. So that's definitely uh, the better route to go as far as seeing all of the deals. Um, you know, the easier way, but obviously most of you guys are probably just looking on the PlayStation Store. There's deals like Sleeping Dogs on sale, Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition. That's a good deal. Catherine Full Body Digital Deluxe. RDR 1 and 2 bundle for $60. Sakura Wars for $9. Ain't bad. Shenmue 1 and 2. Dragon's Crown Pro for $4 is a pretty good deal as well. So a lot of good stuff rolling in. We'll do breakdowns of all of our typical stuff, and we'll try to keep it exclusive to the newer deals that have rolled in. But that's going to do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.